Hi my cyber angels, this is Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your weekly reading and I'm doing the weekly readings from Capricorn, Aquarius and then Pisces and then I start a new video otherwise it's too long to load up and that will be um, Aries, Taurus, Gemini and the same with Cancer, Leo, Virgo and Libra, Scorpio and Sagittarius. I have computer issues and I have to bring away the computer so I'm sorry to have to do it this way but please look at the timestamps below the video okay then you can click on the timestamps and it will take you directly to the section of your zodiac sign please like and subscribe and please leave your comments below the video um, whether you like this setup and uh, I might just do it once again in the future but I know I haven't got any title descriptions to say what your reading is about I might try to put that in I don't know whether I can edit it that way I hope so but please bear with me I'm sorry for the inconvenience and take care have a safe week please subscribe and like and please hit the bell on all and also refresh your bell on all your favorite channels as the alpha rhythm might have thrown you out of that channels um, uh, as a member okay that is what I've just found out as well there's new things happening uh, on YouTube constantly and now Facebook is taking away the tags replacing it with face recognition go and have a look on Facebook as well because things are changing there that is what brought the issues to my attention and with my computer I'm sorry for the inconvenience take care love you and I won't be going live this week if I do get my computer back on Saturday uh, or before Saturday I will go live with you as soon as possible take care God bless and stay safe Hi Cancer, this is your reading for the 24th to the 30th of August and your first card is the Five of Wands. If you have missed the intro, I'm sorry I'm doing it this way but I've had issues or I've got issues with the computer. Facebook, Skype, everybody is changing their interface on Facebook. There's no more tagging that will be replaced in September. Um, by face recognition they're trying to get the control over you I'm getting really frustrated here but never mind let's get back to the reading you have five of ones strife yes it could be an argument card but it isn't as serious as the five of swords I also call this the competition card because arguments or disagreements are short-lived and that can be caused by competition but I call it also my competition and strife might come out of it so be careful competition is healthy but make sure that you can um, you are a type of person that is uh, won't get too angry or frustrated or whatever if you lose the competition a sore loser is never liked Okay, the card to clarify it is I think you will win the competition because look, you've got the clover and you've got the six of pentacles. The six of pentacles means that you might be getting money if you're less fortunate than others. If you are, um, un, uh, yeah, if you're more fortunate, then you might be giving money or a helping hand or a listening ear to somebody else but you are definitely in your balance and good luck is here with you the white flowers sometimes purple flowers in the clovers means that you might be memorizing about the past the good old memories so if you are in competition or if you do have a disagreement your points of view will be heard and you will have luck in settling the argument
Now the second card is midweek, is Wednesday, is the chariot, and this is your card as it represents Cancer. So you might be uh, meeting another Cancer, but you definitely feel ultimately successful, happy. And no wonder, this is the victory card. This is also public recognition, perhaps recognition from your employer. You might be getting um, uh, a payout, an extra payout or a pay rise. You might be get be promoted as you you are being recognized for your hard work. You're moving onwards and upwards. Wow, victory, victory is yours. You're the champion. You've got recognition, like I said, but you could be moving home or you could be moving from one business to another business. Or if you've got a company, you might be moving your company to another building. You might be upsizing, I think, um, as this card means recognition and victory. But in, uh, in other ways, it could also be positively that you're downsizing for the coming time um, because of the COVID and you've got recognition from people that you're wise, but you're still maintaining the business. Wow, absolutely great. So don't, if, you, if you've been looking at a car, it could be soon yours, if that is what you wish. The luck is here. The energy to buying a new car is here as well. But you might also be traveling for work. Now the clarification card is there will be a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation or an issue. You might be moving home, you might be hearing of a birth or finding out you're pregnant. The birth could be a child but it could also be a new project like moving the business to a larger property or to downsizing and getting the recognition that you are downsizing in your for the time being I'm not saying it's permanent because I don't have a permanent feeling about it and that is what the argument could have been about that you didn't really want to do it but you see the sense of it that will bring you victory it will bring you recognition it will bring you in a new beginning towards upwards and forwards if you don't want to get pregnant, then heed the warning, forewarned is forearmed, then take the precautions. Okay, so you've got number 17, which is an 8, so that's the 8 is the power house and the money house. So you might be coming into money. Okay, now that could be a gift, that could be a uh, uh, the the pay rise or the promotion um, that could be because you're um, doing something else or you're taking on a second job um, something that you love this could be in the healthcare because you've got the Queen of Hearts the Queen of Hearts is um, Scorpio so you could be meeting a Scorpio as well definitely more water in your chart is here midweek so um, you might hear of a Scorpio that is pregnant or finding out that they are going to have a birth. The Queen of Water stands for love, passion, nurturing, caring, sensuality and sexuality. She's always dressed up to the tea and beautifying herself because that makes her feel good and once she feels good she's like a beacon she will shine like a lighthouse or be a magnet and attract um, attention well you certainly are on Wednesday with the recognition that you're going to get from the outside world if not from the inside great stuff but don't uh, exclude Cancer or Pisces. Okay, on Friday we have the Nine of Swords. Why are you having um, sleepless nights? Is it too hot or is something worrying you? Here you see a lady um, sort of with the hands in uh, wiping away the tears. Give your issues over to the Divine and the Angels and they will take care of it so that you can have a good night's sleep 
and be rejuvenated the next morning because you are moving forwards and upwards let the divine um, take care of your worries they will guide you um, as to what you will do but they will take your worries away like my mother used to say put your worries next to your clothes and if you want to pick up your worries the next day then do that whilst you're getting showered and dressed a nine also means an ending and new beginnings where there is an ending there's a new beginning and you definitely have new beginnings you have the bear and the bear means you have luck on your side that you protect everything that you love and that you're passionate about there could be a jealous person around you now this could be the um, uh, cancer this could be the Scorpio where did I get the Scorpio the, the Queen of Cups this could be the Queen of Cups or a ca cancer Scorpio or cancer It could even be um, a Pisces because water is in your um, what you call it reading, and you've got the Ten of Wands. You've had a heavy time. You've had a heavy load to bear. The Ten of Clubs is the Ten of Wands again, an ending and a new beginning. But remember, you are in your strength with this Eight, and you are balanced you are stronger than you think and definitely at the end of the week one and five six you will be balanced as well don't take care any notice of anybody that is um, jealous of you walk away from their drama and their energy you can see there is a big tower or a castle that looks like a hospital or a church or a cathedral or an institution or a municipality you might even get help from an institution or a municipality you've got the six of cups Wow again the six of cups is that you're looking back to the past you are thinking about good memories longing for those days perhaps you had careless free days like these girls in the background dancing away and having a good time and here is the mum worried because um, she has to do her chores and she can't join them but she's looking back to the past they're more or less the same thing as uh, <coughs> the clover the six of pentacles the six of pentacles is give and take sorry not the six of pencils not the same as the six of cups sorry about that but you've what I meant to say is you've got the six and a six and you've got oh that's a seven let's have a look was there an other six anywhere no yes here you are you see duh so you've got a six a six and a six Okay, the six from Lenormand, the six from Pentacles, and the six of Cups. Nostalgic. It's okay to be nostalgic, but you have to get back to work. Somebody might come back from the past and bring you a gift. Okay, that's very nice. This could be at the weekend. Okay, and you've got the Ace of Clubs, which is the Ace of Swords victory again victory card victory card the ultimate victory card is the ace of swords the truth is come out or perhaps you're seeing the truth somebody's showing you the truth a new beginning perhaps a new study perhaps new communication wow perhaps knowledge because the swords stand for wisdom that is knowledge so it could be a new study new communication you might have start a job in communication like presenting or flogging or blogging or um, being an actor or being a teacher institutions lying next to the bear perhaps somebody is jealous of you because you've got a new job or being promoted 
from being teacher's assistant to being a fully fledged teacher. And you've got number 29, which is 11. And 11 is an angel number, a doorway to step through. And this d lady is looking out to out the window. She's really feminine and she loves what she does and she loves well because she's got the sign of Venus, the feminine sign around her neck. She's seeing what she wants coming towards her. The angels have her answered your prayers. Uh, a year from now is what the an uh, angels are giving you as the angel answer card. You will see the fruits of your labor well within a short period, but a year from now you will see what advantages you and steps you have made. And even after the hard times, the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords don't worry. Perhaps your faith will have strengthened a little bit and your self-trust and your faith in the Divine and the Angels. Just let it go. Trust in them. They will deliver. And a year from now you'll even be, like I said, up on and upwards. You'll be where you want to be, like in the olden days, happy and secure. Take care. God bless and be blessed and stay safe. Ciao, ciao. Please like and share. Hi Leo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 24th to the 30th. I'm sorry I've had issues. I've still got some issues with the computer. So that's why I have to do it this way in order to get the generals out and do my best for the romance readings. I'm sorry uh, I've been frustrated. I'm really sorry but I hope you will like your readings. I will be putting the time tags uh, below so please go ahead and if you're a cross watcher then perhaps this might be a shortcut for you then you can stay perhaps in the same video. Um, okay, uh, because I'm doing three at a time. Okay, so this one will be Cancer, Leo and Virgo. Here we go. Your first card is, and if you've mis missed the introduction, that is what I'm, why I'm repeating myself as well. And the first card is the Three of Wands. So you're seeing your plans coming into fruition. And in this deck it is called Foundation. Yes, you've been planning things, building a foundation for something to come in. But abundance is coming in. This could be love, this could be new people, new friends, new work, new business. You have been working hard, my friend. There could also be somebody that is jealous of you or a slithery customer, a slippery customer. That's what I'm hearing because you've got the snake. So watch out when you're signing contracts that you read the small print and don't trust everybody what the, and what they say is true. Okay? Check it out before you sign or you take action. You've got the Queen of Wands here. That's exactly what she will do. She will go for what she wants, but she will check it out because she's very logical thinker and she's very strategic and she handles. You do not cross a Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is a Leo because she will claw you or bite you, okay? Like the big fangs of that um, serpent. You've got number seven though, so you have luck on your side. The, don't with the Queen of Wands or Clubs, don't forget that it could also be an Aries or a Sagittarius. They're strong, powerful, independent women. If you're not meeting somebody like that, then perhaps you're taking a page out of their book. On Wednesday you have the star. You've navigated your way, like I said, you've been planning and you've been navigating your way to success. Your goals or your wish is coming true.
The clarifying card for that one is number 3, you've been creative, or rather 30, which becomes 3, which means cre create creativity. And you've got the King of Swords, the King of Clubs, that is the Gemini. So you might be meeting a Gemini, or a Gemini might be helping you to settle mm, this figure that has been untrue, or slithery, or untrustworthy. Okay, if somebody is like that in your vicinity, then you might seek legal advice as the um, SWORDS stands for legalities as well, judicial situations, communications, wisdom, honesty, truth, justice. So the King of Swords will cut straight through to the core for you and will help you and cut straight through to the core and get rid of the BS so that you can get clarity and justice. Now the lilies mean that uh, you uh, might be seeking advice from a mature man or a, a man that you respect or a father figure. Wow! Remember your angels are with you because you've got the stained lead in glass window. So the angels are with you, definitely the heavens, as you've got the star. Awesome. This could also be an Aquarius, as the star is represented by the, the Aquarius is represented by the star. So definitely air signs are uh, in, of importance to you. Okay. Okay. But you could also be, this is Aquarius, this is Gemini, but don't exclude Libra or Aquarius with the King, okay? Because they are also sharp, and they can cross their T's and dot their I's. They want clarity and justice. Now you've got number 10. The number 10 in the normal deck is the Wheel of Fortune. And here it's called Weird. Yes, something might be weird. <laughs> but here you see three ladies, and I call them the Three Stooges. They're the Muse, okay? The Three Muse. They're holding the golden egg, or is it the world? No, it's a golden world, a golden ball. So don't listen to anybody's uh, gossip. That is what I'm hearing, and this is how I in translate it. And this goes very well with the warning of the snake. Number 10 means an ending, new beginnings. Okay. Now the wheel, we've got a cobweb here. Perhaps you felt trapped, but you are getting out of the trap. Perhaps somebody trapped you, and that's why you needed legal advice or judicial advice from a mature man, professional advice. So what goes round comes round, they will get their karma, okay? You might be moving home with the Wheel of Fortune, or you might be um, going on holiday, travelling. You might have your eye on a car, so this time you, the energy says that you are, can afford the car. You might go up into the next level in work or in love. So you could be going, uh, getting engaged instead of going out. You might be getting married instead of being engaged. You might be moving in together as it's also the moving card or buying a house together. Perhaps that's what you need legal advice on. Okay. Okay. So, um... It also means the Karma card. What goes round comes round. Good or bad, you'll get it back threefold. If somebody's done you wrong, they will get their Karma threefold as well. Then we have the Princess of Cups, and that is Lugash Nasha. Nasa. Lach Nasa. That's Gaelic. And I think that might be a festival, as this is a pagan deck. The Princess of Cups is like the page, the cup of page of cups. Uh, you will receive news. Okay, this could be about love or something that you're passionate about. This could come from a Cancer, a Scorpio, 
or a Pisces, but Pisces does represent prominently the page. Now I forgot to get this card. Oh wow, this is really all legal stuff, this. Um, this is what I'm uh, thinking. You've got number 12, which is a 3, creativeness. So you've got a 3 here, and this is a 3. You've got a 3 here. So watch out for numbers 3-3 three, three, or 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Okay. Um, this is the double card. This card is equivalent to the ordinary birds, but these are the owls. Wise. They are uh, reconsidered to be wise, like learned, professional. So you might get professional news. This could be to do with legalities. Okay. You've got the seven of wands, so you've also got luck with number seven, and you've got seven there and seven here. So again, double numbers, three, three, three is significant, or the number three, and seven. Okay, what you sow, you shall reap, because that's the seven of pentacles, but it will take time um, to come to fruition. So this might have started way back, as that's in the past, really on Monday, but if it was a full-blown reading, that would be the past, this would be the present, and that would be the future. So, <coughs> they will get their karma, okay? Something will be done. You will be getting news because you've got the page, and this also means news. And I think this could be cider news, email, text message, or a telephone call. Be careful of gossip, especially if you are with uh, legal people. You don't understand the legal jargon. They might talk to, the, uh, to each other whilst you're there, and you don't understand. So ask for clarity, okay? This is what I'm hearing. Somebody might have left the coop. Or left the group. Somebody might have left the business, the group, the working group, or the home group. Now, perhaps that's why you need professional, uh, professional advice as well. Could be with regards to um, child child benefit, or um, a damage claim, or uh, getting married if that is your wish, because you might have been planning that. Again, you have the magnifying glass, and that is number 44, an angel number, and that becomes an 8. The house of power and money. Money is coming towards you. It could be an inheritance, it could be a scratch card, it could be a promotion, uh, it could be to do with legalities. So, it could be any sign, because this is all the elements here. But you need to be Sherlock Holmes. You need to look at itineraries and recheck before you go away if you are traveling. Okay? Because you've got the card for traveling as well or moving home. Make sure that if the road is clear, um, take extra maps, update your cards or maps. Uh, make sure that your IDs are in uh, top form. Will something go wrong? No, nothing will go wrong if you double check. And especially the small print in contracts. Okay, Leo, I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Uh, I'm sorry for the delay. Um, take care and I still cannot go live this week as I have to do the love uh, readings as well and um, I because of the computer issues they're not all uh, fixed yet but at least I can make the videos take care God bless and stay safe and please share and like and please hit the bell and check that you are still a member of your favorite channels. Re and that's the bell. If you repress the bell on all, then you'll get a pop-up saying you'll be notified. You have to refresh it from time to time. The alpha rhythm uh, is having fits. And Facebook is also changing things. That you can't tag in September anymore. You will be done with face recognition or something like that. We'll see. 
uh, uh, Skype has also changed their interface I think they are just um, irritating us so when most of the people come back from holiday they have other issues than the COVID alright take care they keep us on our toes ciao ciao bye bye love you hi Virgo if you have missed the introduction because I'm doing these videos like this with timestamps then I'm just saying excuse me for, for being late but I've had six days of horror because my computer just crashed on me and then it uh, I got it fixed and it crashed on me again etc 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 I hope you are well and this is your reading for the 24th to the 30th of August and we are in the energy of Virgo I hope you have watched the um, video on the energy of Virgo and I'm also using one of my new decks um, the Pagan Waste. they're beautiful I start off with number two so you are in balance so long you listen to your intuition and you've got the High Priestess and she has the crystal ball and usually she has the, the book of wisdom or she has the Torah the Torah the scripts that's all the answers she can travel between the underworld and our world that's why you have the pillars if you step through then if she steps through them then she can go to the underworld it's got to do with a mythology story a myth okay Okay, so the angels are giving you a number 11 as well. This is um, uh, like 11, um, but it is number 2, and these pillars look like number 11. So there will be a new doorway. So make sure that you listen to your intuition, new ideas, and your uh, psyche might be heightened. You might be highly sensitive, especially because we've just come into Virgo don't push away your feelings they d they are never wrong the clarification card is number 39 so that is a, a 12 so that's a 3 be creative and you've got the dice so you can take a gamble but it doesn't mean to say that you can go to the casino and um, gamble away because luck is not insured. If you are going to gamble, then listen to your intuition. Okay. You can buy a scratch card or buy a lottery ticket of a dollar, and you might be lucky. You can be also very creative. Look, you've got number seven, so luck numbers there oh, doesn't matter look where you look at three and four is seven as well so seven might be important middle week you have the universe number 21 and that is the world something is coming round full circle you might be traveling or moving home you might be going up a next level in relationships or in friendships or in uh, business in work so you might be getting a promotion you from a friendship you might start a relationship from a relationship an engagement or engagement getting married you might be moving in together something is come full circle this is also my karma card so if you've done good or bad you will get that back threefold and if somebody's done you wrong or good they'll get it back threefold as well okay so there could be a, there is also a new beginning as a phase is ending 
and this could be in business as you've got number 34 number 7 good luck and you've got the king of diamonds which is the king of pentacles something is turning to gold perhaps the king of pentacles doesn't gamble he usually sorts out and does the research before he invests but perhaps you it could be you that wants to invest and it will turn to gold but don't make it a big gamble try to get as much information as possible but i think you're going to take a chance on something know your boundaries let others know your boundaries as there's no boundaries in the waters fish don't know what boundaries are so get to know other people's boundaries as well okay then you can avoid um, discussions or fight fighting disagreements okay just go with the flow that's also what I'm getting be gentle just take it easy at your own pace you've also got luck in business or at work as the fish is a lucky card and especially with the king of pentacles everything he touches will turn to gold you the king of pentacles is Taurus but you could be meeting Virgo or Capricorn then on Friday you have the king of cups water yes emotions might run high like I said because you have got the high priestess and she is all about emotions intuition she's also represents the moon goddess which is Pisces so this is also a little bit my card for Pisces okay now the king of pentacles is cancer but uh, don't exclude Scorpio or Pisces emotions might be running high you could be meeting one of these people and this could be uh, somebody that you're going out with and you're going up to the next level with them Ooh, they stand for love passion nurturing caring sensuality and sexuality well we've got the king of Pentacles here and the king of water here look you might have to make a choice between those two and again the angels are giving you an angel number a 22 twi two times 11 2 yeah okay and this is 2 2 times 11 is 22 so 11 and 22 and 7 is significant for you we have the Queen of Pentacles, so I think some of you might be coupling up. This is the couple. That's it. That is, if that is, if you want to couple up, um, you'll have to make a decision or a choice. At the weekend, I think you're going to um, pull. Um, you're going to pull yourself away from the outside world. It's like if you're going to creep into your little shell. And I think you're going to be the, the hermit, the wise old man. He retreats, this, the creeping in your shell is retreating to meditate, contemplate and evaluate. If, you, if there are two people that you're interested in, let it be uh, a pentacle person like Taurus. And here we've got the ver hermit, the ver Virgo. And then... Uh, the, the I think you you don't want to upset anybody you will find it difficultly difficult but there is an ending coming and a new beginning either with one or the other signs it could be a Virgo as we've got the hermit here he represents Virgo but coming back to the hermit um, contemplate meditate and throw away what is of no use to you let go of things that are of no use but uh, usually in some decks you see the hermit with a rucksack and um, with a stick he doesn't have a stick here he's only got the lantern so lighten your load and your journey will be lighter and also lighten up that is what I'm hearing lighten up don't be too emotional. Keep your emotions in check like the king. Follow the light on your path. 
ask advice if you need advice from an older mature man like the king of pentacles that does the research and knows what he wants and like the king of cups that knows how to keep his emotions in check and like the wise old man the hermit like a granddad okay wow you have the clover you are going to find your balance and your peace okay you've got good luck two is balance and you've got the six of pentacles here so some if you are short of money or short of a helping hand um, if you are less fortunate you will be getting a gift or can get a gift from um, um, a more fortunate person it could be an older person like a father figure or a wise man okay um, this could be money this could be uh, advice this could be a helping hand with something um, so that you can make the choice and now you've got two 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 so that is quite significant Wow that is an awesome number so luck is on your side with seven with the clover um, you can take the gamble but make sure you know the boundaries don't get too emotional keep them in check just like the king of uh, water listen to your intuition and new ideas wow and you'll be alright don't do things in hurry as the angels say wait wait until the time is right until you have the right advice and until you feel it's safe to do so I hope you've enjoyed this video Virgo and I hope you have a beautiful week sorry that I had to do it this way next week we'll be back to normal take care God bless and look forward to the romance reading which will be coming out shortly ciao ciao Bye-bye. Please like and share.